Hey there, history buffs. Ever wondered how a single legal code could shape the course of an entire empire? Well, today, we're setting the stage for an epic journey into the past, exploring the profound influence of Justinian's code on the Byzantine Empire and beyond. Our story begins in the heart of the Byzantine Empire with its ruler, Emperor Justinian I, reigning from 527 to 565 AD. Justinian I was a man with a vision. He sought to bring order to his empire, and to do so he embarked on an ambitious project, to compile and codify all existing Roman laws into a single coherent system. Enter Justinian's Code, or as it's also known, the Corpus Juris Civilis. This wasn't just any old set of laws, this was a comprehensive, meticulously organized collection of legal principles, regulations, and procedures that covered virtually every aspect of life in the empire. From property rights to criminal offenses, nothing was left out. But Justinian's code was more than just a list of do's and don'ts. It was a monumental effort to unify the fragmented legal system of the Byzantine Empire, and in doing so it laid the foundations for modern legal systems across the world. The code was divided into four parts, the Institutes, the Digest, the Code, and the Novels. Each part played a crucial role in the system, providing clarity and consistency to a previously chaotic collection of laws. This structure made the law accessible and easy to navigate, ensuring that justice could be served swiftly and effectively. But the significance of Justinian's code goes beyond its organization and breadth. It was revolutionary in its scope and ambition. Drawing upon the Roman legal tradition, it incorporated elements from ancient works, yet also introduced new concepts that reflected the evolving society of the Byzantine Empire. So grab a seat, and let's transport ourselves back to the times of emperors, conquerors, and legal masterminds. Justinian's Code, also known as Corpus Juris Civilis, was a comprehensive collection of laws that sought to bring order to the fragmented legal system of the Byzantine Empire. This vast code, painstakingly compiled and organized, covered an impressive range of topics, from property rights and contractual obligations to criminal offenses and family law. Now, what really set Justinian's Code apart was its structure. Unlike the haphazard arrangement of laws that had characterized earlier legal systems, Justinian's Code was meticulously organized into four distinct parts, the Institutes, the Digest, the Code, and the Novels. The Institutes served as a legal textbook for students and practitioners, providing an overview of the principles and concepts that underpin the Byzantine legal system. It was a stepping stone, a starting point for those eager to delve into the complex world of Byzantine law. The Digest, on the other hand, was a vast compilation of legal opinions and judgments from Rome's most esteemed jurists. It was a treasure trove of legal wisdom and precedent, a reference point for judges and lawyers grappling with complex legal issues. Next we have the Code. This was the heart of Justinian's legal system, containing the actual laws that governed the Byzantine Empire. It was here that one could find the regulations and edicts that shaped everyday life, from trade and taxation to marriage and inheritance. Finally, the novels. This part of the code contained the new laws and amendments introduced by Justinian and his successors. It was a testament to the dynamic nature of the Byzantine legal system, a system that evolved and adapted to meet the needs of a changing society. This structure made it easier for legal scholars and practitioners to navigate and apply the laws effectively. Each part of the code had its purpose, its role to play in the grand scheme of things. And together, they formed a coherent, comprehensive legal system that would shape the course of the Byzantine Empire for centuries to come. The significance of Justinian's code cannot be overstated. This comprehensive collection of laws, also known as the Corpus Juris Civilis, set out to unify the fragmented Byzantine legal system. It covered an impressive range of legal principles, procedures, and regulations, touching upon everything from property rights to criminal offenses. The Code's impact on the Byzantine Empire was profound. It brought order to a chaotic legal system, providing a single authoritative source of law for the entire empire. This had the effect of stabilizing Byzantine society, as citizens now had a clear understanding of their rights and duties. The Code also strengthened the legal institutions of the empire, as judges and administrators, 
could now rely on a unified body of law to guide their decisions. But the code's influence extended far beyond the realm of law. It played a crucial role in shaping the Byzantine Empire's political, social, and economic structures. For instance, the code's regulations on land ownership helped to promote agricultural productivity, which in turn boosted the empire's economy. The code's provisions on marriage and family law also had significant societal implications, influencing everything from inheritance practices to gender roles. However, what truly set Justinian's code apart was its revolutionary scope and ambition. It was not merely a compilation of existing laws, but a bold reimagining of the legal system. The code drew upon the rich tradition of Roman law, incorporating elements from ancient works such as the Twelve Tables, but it also introduced new concepts and principles that reflected the evolving society of the Byzantine Empire. For example, the code placed a strong emphasis on the protection of individual rights, a concept that was relatively new at the time. It also recognized the importance of fairness and equity in the legal process, setting out detailed procedures to ensure that justice was served. The Code was a testament to Justinian's vision and his commitment to creating a just and orderly society. It introduced new concepts and principles that reflected the evolving society of the Byzantine Empire. It's awe-inspiring to think that many of the principles established in Justinian's Code persist in modern legal systems worldwide. The influence of this Byzantine legal compilation stretches beyond the confines of its era, leaving an indelible mark on how we perceive and administer justice today. Underpinning our understanding of law, Justinian's Code introduced and enshrined several pivotal concepts. One such principle is the idea of due process. This concept ensures fair treatment through the normal judicial system, especially as a citizen's entitlement. Today, Due process is an integral part of legal systems around the world, safeguarding individuals from arbitrary denial of life, liberty, or property by the government. Another cornerstone of modern justice established by Justinian's Code is the principle of equality before the law. This crucial concept asserts that no individual, regardless of their status or position, is above the law. It is a principle that has withstood the test of time forming the bedrock of our current understanding of justice and fairness. Lastly, the presumption of innocence, a legal right of the accused in a criminal trial, is also rooted in Justinian's Code. This principle, which maintains that a person is innocent until proven guilty, is a vital component of modern legal systems. It's a bulwark against miscarriages of justice and a critical part of ensuring a fair trial. These principles due process, equality before the law, and the presumption of innocence have traveled through the centuries, shaping legal systems and influencing jurisprudential thought. They form the core of our current legal practice, reminding us of our commitment to justice, fairness, and the rule of law. The concepts of due process, equality before the law, and the presumption of innocence are all rooted in the enduring legacy of this monumental legal code. Today, law students, historians, and legal professionals around the globe study Justinian's Code to gain insights into the origins of our modern legal frameworks. This ancient codex, crafted with such precision and wisdom, continues to echo through the halls of justice, resonating within the very core of our legal systems. The legacy of Justinian's Code is profound and far-reaching. It has shaped our understanding of law and justice, serving as a guiding light for countless legal systems across the world. From the courts of Europe to the chambers of the American Supreme Court, the principles enshrined in the code continue to influence legal thought and practice. Beyond its legal implications, Justinian's code also played a pivotal role in preserving the cultural and intellectual heritage of the Roman Empire. Many of the classical texts referenced in the code would have been lost to history, were it not for the meticulous compilation efforts of Justinian scholars. Thus, the Code not only serves as a legal document, but also as a rich tapestry of Roman thought and philosophy. The Code's emphasis on justice, fairness, and the rule of law has had a profound impact on societal norms and values. It has helped shape our collective consciousness, instilling a deep respect for the law 
and the principles of justice. The Code's principles of equality before the law and the presumption of innocence, for instance, have become cornerstones of modern democratic societies. Furthermore, the pedagogical value of Justinian's Code cannot be overstated. It provides a unique window into the past, offering invaluable insights into the Byzantine Empire's legal and social structures. For students of law and history, the Code serves as a foundational text, a wellspring of knowledge that enriches their understanding of the evolution of legal systems. In conclusion, the legacy of Justinian's Code is not limited to the realm of law. It transcends boundaries influencing culture, society, and education. It stands as a testament to the power of legislation and the enduring impact it can have on societies for centuries to come.